My name is Daniel Pace with Simple Crypto Consulting, where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a MetaMask wallet. And today, I'm going to be using the Brave browser. You can also use this for Google Chrome or other browsers that you choose. I'm going to be sticking with uh, Brave browser today. So here we go. I am at the home screen for Brave. And what I'm going to do is go up here to the top and click on type in metamask misspelled it but that's okay so you want to go to metamask.io so here we are at metamask's site you can see uh, all the information there what we're going to do is click on download and it's going to give you the option brave ios andro android we're going to do install metamask for brave it's going to take you to the web store you're going to click on Add to Brave. It's going to give you a pop-up here. We're going to click Add Extension. It's going to download down here. You can see it's saying Adding to Brave. We just give it a second. And now we are in the extension here, the extension setup. Click Get Started. If you've already set up a MetaMask account and you have a recovery phrase, the seed phrase you can click on import wallet if you're just getting started click on create wallet okay they're gonna give you this information here that you can read um, they're not gonna take your keys or addresses or anything like that they don't take your IP ad address they don't sell your data so you click on I agree you're gonna come up with a new password so you want to put in a password you probably gonna want to write this down Click on I have read and agreed to the terms of use, which you can open up in a new tab and read through if you want to. It will be good information if you've never read it before. Click on create. All right, now we're gonna secure your wallet. This is a bunch of information. You can watch this short video. Um, this is the information over here on the side, like what is a secret recovery phrase? It's basically a master key. You should never share this secret phrase with anybody, not even at a mask. Um, if anybody's asking for this, they're trying to access your wallet. So you should never be giving this to anybody. Can't stress that enough. So here we go. We get secret recovery phrase. It says this is going to make it easier to back up and restore your wallet. So if you ever lose access to it, you can use this phrase to access it again. Uh, again, never disclose the secret recovery phrase. So you click here to reveal the secret words. You can copy and paste those but ideally you'll want to write those down in a secure location somewhere off of your computer okay then it's going to ask you to confirm your secret recovery phrase so you're going to put it in the way that you wrote it down so i'm going to do that with these all being blurred out on your end but you will be able to see these and so you'll just click on them in the order that they appeared on the previous screen. All right, congratulations, you passed the test. Keep this safe, it's your responsibility. So here's some tips on storing it. Save it in multiple places, don't share it. Don't fall victim to a phishing attack. Um, you can always find these words in the settings and then security folder. There's a security tab. He'll show you how to get those if you uh, lose them. And you can contact support. MetaMask does not store your recovery phrase, so they cannot help you back it up or recover it if you lose it. All done. So, what's new? They just changed the seed phrase to secret recovery phrase to help keep things more clear. So click here is your account. Now, there's nothing here right now. Now, if you wanted to send crypto to this wallet, you'll need to go to, let's say you have Ethereum on Coinbase. You'll open up your Coinbase account, and you'll click on the send, and then you'll come over here to MetaMask, and you'll see this here. This is your wallet address. If you just click on this, it just automatically copies it. And then you will go to wherever you're sending the crypto from, say Coinbase, you will paste this address into the uh, send 
section. Then you will put in the amount that you're going to send, and you will likely have to pay a transaction fee because it's Ethereum, and then it will show up in this wallet. If you come over here, you have some settings. You can lock your account. You can create different accounts, import a different account here, connect a hardware wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger, support settings. If we go into settings, you can see a bunch of different things here. You don't need to really mess with any of this stuff. It's just here for if you need it, but normally you will not be using any of this stuff. You can import contacts, wallet addresses that you trust that you use frequently. You can add here. This is where you will come if you need to back up your seed phrase again, your recovery phrase. Here on networks, this is where you would add a different network. Say if you wanted to trade on Polygon or anything like that, you would come here to do that. These are experimental features. This is the about page. So that is all of that. So over here, you have all the assets. So when you need to add a token, you'll do uh, import tokens. You can search for the token. So like Matic, you know, Polygon, you could just add it and click next and import tokens. And so then if you had any Matic, it would show up here. You don't have any right now, but if you want to, you can use Benamask to buy and swap tokens. So you can click on buy and there's some options here where you can buy with a wire or a debit card. You can swap. If you had some in here, you could swap say your ETH for Matic, um, and then here's the options for how much slippage. That's gonna basically be how much the price changes. If it goes and changes by more than 3%, the swap will fail. When you review the swap, it'll give you a uh, an estimate of the gas fees and so the total cost and total amount that you'll be swapping. Over here, you can click on activity, and this will be where you can see any of the transactions you have done. Another thing is you can click on this button here. You can look at your account details. Like this is your wallet address written out completely. This is the QR code. So if you were to use your phone, you could scan this with your phone and send it to this wallet address. You can export your private key. Uh, you shouldn't ever need to really do that. This is going to be view on Etherscan. Etherscan is a platform that tracks all the transactions that happen on the Ethereum blockchain. We just clicked on there. And so this is everything going on right now on Ethereum. You can see the gas prices. So somewhere around 116 GUI right now. Hash rate, market cap for Ethereum, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see the transit. You can see your transactions taking place on the uh, Etherscan whenever you do something like that. So that's basically it. So the last thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add this extension to our extension bar here. So I have, you can see other extensions that I have here. If we click on this button right here, this little puzzle piece, um, you can see a list of all the extensions. If you click on this little pin, you can see that I added it right there. So anytime that you need to access MetaMask, you would just click on this button here. And for the first time, you'll put in your password there. But if once you put in your password, it'll just automatically open up your wallet. So anytime you're on a exchange like Uniswap or something like that, you can interact with your wallet from the extension. So I hope you found that useful and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for more crypto content. Thank you for watching. This is Daniel Pace with Simple Crypto Consulting, where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere.